Hello programmers, welcome back to my tutorial. First of all, this tutorial is made in Swift 4 on Xcode 9, but if you're still using Swift 3, then this should work fine for you. So today I will show you how to make a horizontal pickup view programmatically. There will be a lot of testing along the way. So this is what we are going to create. So this is horizontal. And here I have, here I have already created a new project. Uh, we will be not working on main.storyboard. So we will be creating pick a view programmatically as well. So let's first create our basic pick a view. So for that, we will need uh, an array of elements. So I have already copied this part so that it's easier. So I will get a pick a view delegate, pick a view data source and pick a view delegate. This uh, is a bit of intermediate course. If you're still new to new with pick a view, do check my basic pick a view videos so you will get the idea what we are going to do. So first of all, we will assign our delegate and data source. So we need to create a pick a view first. So let's say let uh, pick a view is equal to UI pick a view and open parenthesis close parenthesis and it will be pick a view dot delegate is equal to self and pick a view dot data source is equal to self and now uh, if you know how pick a view works then we need a uh, two data source method which is first is number in components number of components and we will return one and we have another method is number of rows so number of rows in component and we will return size of our animal array so animals dot count and we'll uh, one more uh, method is title so that we can display title for row and it will be return and animals and position of a row so i think we're done with the basic uh, data source and delegate part but we need to still create our picker view and add it to our sub view so picker view creation so we will say pick a view dot frame and equal to cg rect and let's say x is 0 y is 0 width is view dot frame I don't know why do I get this frame dot width and for height we will do let's say for now let's do 100 and uh, this should work and let's center it so that we don't have to do it in frame because dot center is self dot view dot center and just add this to our sub view so self dot view dot add sub view and pick a view so let's run our application uh, as i said before there will be a lot of testing so bear with me so here is our picaroo. I will just give it borders so that you understand what we are exactly doing it. So I will do it here. Pickerview dot layer dot border border color and it will be UI color dot let's say black not blue black dot CG color and pickerview dot layer dot border width will be let's take 1.5 and let's run it and see if it displays or not so okay this is our border so basically we will uh, we have to rotate this whole thing like this goes here like this comes up so uh, so let's start doing that so for rotation uh, and make sure you do this part before picker view creation. So let's say picker view rotation, and we will say picker view dot transform. And as you can see, we need CG FN transform. So just enter equals to CG FN transform, and we need rotation angle. So basically, if you press an uh, alter and click on rotation angle, you will read that angle is in radians. So I know a formula to create degrees to radians. So 
let's say rotation angle equal to I will rotate it by minus 90 so minus 90 multiplied by dot pi and we need to create a variable so variable rotation angle and it will be of type CG float and exclamation mark and dot pi uh, see if you don't declare the variable you you will not get dot pi so make sure you declare it and just pass in here rotation angle so let's run the application again so as you can see the orientation has changed but the titles are still showing in inward manners so basically need to change each views rotation as well so for that we cannot use this basic title for row method we need three more methods for it so first of all is height for component another one is width width for component and for both of them we will return let's create a variable a constant so let width equal to 100 and this will be of type cg float so cg float and let height cg float is equal to 100 so that we can pass in straight away so here return 100 and here also return 100 and we need to create our own view for this so type in view and you view for row and this are all delegated methods of pick a view so if you still don't get this suggestions go over here and command click under delegate and jump to definition and here all the methods are listed and you can read more if you want so go back and let's create our view so we need to return a ui view so let's select view equal to ui view and for every view we need to create a frame view dot frame i don't know why this happens every time so and frame is cg rect and we'll create with double x is zero y is zero and we need with just passing our variable and height will be height and we will done with the view part so we need label as well so label equal to uh, UI label and we need to give label frame as well so label dot frame yeah this time I did it right so CG rect x double and zero zero width will be width and height will be height as well and we need to pass in text so label dot text yeah text alignment as well so just hit dot and center and let's say label dot text will be animals and just pass in row over here and uh, i guess we are done with this part so let's add this to our sub view so view dot add sub view and say label yeah simple label and just return this view so basically let's check that this view is working then we will rotate it okay so it's working it uh, increased its size uh, let's bump up the font size as well so label dot font equal to ui font dot system font of size let's say 30 and let's rotate the view so view rotation again we will do the same thing so view dot transform and it will be cg affine cj cg affine transform and we need rotation so rotation angle will be let's say this time we will be doing 90 not minus 90 so 90 cross my shift is not working anyways bear with me minus uh, dot pi divided by 180 so let's run it once again so as you can see the view has changed 
and uh, I will be just doing some like uh, visual modifications so for for the main part of the tutorial we are done so if you're still uh, wanting to learn more visual part uh, stick around so if you notice the we are just occupying this much space see it's like this all is going useless so let's fix it so when you create picker view uh, picker view dot frame so just add in plus 300 to width and subtract minus 150 so basically it's half of 300 from x so run the application again so as you can see now it's uh, picker view is occupying the whole space so uh, that's how you create a horizontal picker view and uh, thank you for watching if you like uh, if you have any questions comment uh, in the comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe for future videos.